welcome to the vlog. And in average day, in average day, in Cape Town. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have an average day in my life where you get to hang out with me, I get to hang out with you, and I think it's going to be fun. But before we kick things off, before we start the day, I have to do something that like only crazy people do in the morning. And that's go for a run. I'm not a big runner. In fact, I think running kind of sucks. <laughs> but we've only been able to go outside for certain things and exercise is one of them. And so going for a run has kind of been like my outlet to the world. So this morning, I'm gonna go for a run. Halfway there. Let's keep going. Woo. All right, if you watched my last video, you know that every time I go for a run, I end up right here, overlooking the mountains and the ocean. And uh, like I said, I don't like running. Running sucks, but the views here in Cape Town are incredible and over the last couple of months I've actually started to enjoy running because this is my backdrop. Uh, so I'm going to sit here for, I don't know, five minutes, enjoy this, and then I'm going to run back and that'll be my run for the day. Uh. <clears throat> Welcome to my cute little breakfast nook that I've actually never eaten breakfast in, but it looks good on camera. So let's pretend I eat breakfast here. But while I do eat my cereal, let me show you what I did last weekend. Because last weekend I left Cape Town and went to this small mountainside village called Scarborough. That's right, last weekend I went away for the weekend to a small town called Scarborough, which is like 45 minutes outside of Cape Town. And it is so pretty and Actually, the entire week so far has been really rainy, um, and it's our first nice day. So, gorgeous. Yeah, I got the cool little town over here. It's probably like less than a thousand people here. And so it's really like hippie, it's like a little hippie beach town. We got the beach over there, and then in true African style, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but we have, check this out. We have ostriches. Right over there. Yeah. So, very cool little beach town, and it's been nice because, ooh, that is zoomed in. It's been nice because it's been a nice, kind of returning to normalcy. Because it's such a small town, there's not as many rules as like big Cape Town. So we've been able to go outside, go to the beach, and hang out, and it's been, yeah, really nice. And I have some friends here, which is nice to see some friends as well, because I haven't seen people in a very long time. But that's what I did last weekend. But now we are back in Cape Town, and, the rest of my day is going to consist of two things, working and eating, neither of which are particularly interesting, now that I'm saying it out loud, but I'm going to try to make it interesting. So let me show you what I'm working on. To do that, let's just put this here, beep, bop, boop. So I have two, I have two projects I'm working on right now for today. One is with this computer and one is with this computer. Yes, I travel around the world with two stupid computers. So, um, yeah, I'm an animator. And on this machine, I'm animating a hand today. And when it comes to animation, there's no real easy way to animate a hand because it's dynamic and it has lots of wrinkles. With that, let's get to animate stuff. One, two, three, four. Okay, I am 
Done. I am done animating this hand. Let's go see the hand. Let's go, what's it look like? Well, here's what it looks like. This is the hand. Press play, it comes up, it turns, it looks like this egg, and it just looks dope. And I mean, maybe it doesn't look dope for you, but it looks dope for me because you, I know how much time went into making this thing, and that's what I'm working on. Now, let's go work on some other stuff. I'm not gonna show you any the other stuff I'm working on. So, let's just skip ahead a little bit to whatever we do next today. Video to feel like I want this video to feel like we're just hanging out, just an average day in my life. I could use a good, easy edit video because oop, I'm cutting my head off. Took that up. I'm making stuff. There we go. Um, I could use a good, easy edit video because the last two videos have been very edit intensive, a lot of animation, a lot of like research, talking to experts on stuff. And if you haven't watched the last two videos, go watch them because they're cool. One of them's about the oldest mountains on the earth. The one before that is about a small country called Lesotho. Both are really interesting. Both, like I said though, very intense in terms of editing, animation, script writing, all that. Just hanging out with me. We're making sandwiches for lunch. Every now and then, you need to do a little taste test. Yep, cheese is still good. All right, let's finish this thing up. And that is my little deli sandwich there. It is a chicken and pastrami sandwich, and I need water. So since we are just kind of hanging out here, you might be wondering, how's Cape Town? And Cape Town's great. It's transitioning into winter time here, which is the opposite from the Northern Hemisphere. So right now it's like June, it's just the start of June and we're running into the winter time. And, but it's like super mild winter. I mean, it's still sunny blue skies most days. There are definitely some more overcast and rainy days, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you know what? A rainy day every now and then isn't bad. So yeah, Cape Town overall is, is still great. Thank you very much, have a good day. Bye. Okay, this next thing we're about to do, I am so excited about, and if you've been watching the vlog, you know that I've been working with a company called Bright Trip on making a how to do Cape Town travel course. And we've been working on it for months and months and months, and we are this, this close to finishing it. But because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic, everything here in Cape Town closed down. And I couldn't finish filming some of the pieces that I needed to. But now that things are opening back up, I can go outside and I can film. And so I am right now at the waterfront. The waterfront it is a gorgeous day. And so I'm gonna get out here and finish this project and get those last few pieces of footage that we need. So let's do it. Okay, I am downtown, downtown Cape Town right now, and people always ask me, is Cape Town safe? And I would say, majority of the places you go, yes, Cape Town is 100% safe. The only place I don't like going is downtown, because it's just, it's the sketchiest part, and there's a lot of homeless people, and it, um, yeah, it's just sketchy. And I don't like being down here, especially with a camera and a backpack full of, like, gear. Um, but I need a few shots for this course, and so I'm gonna be very quick, very strategic, get these last few shots, and then get out of here. It's freaking done! Oh, it feels good. Now I probably have like a couple weeks of editing, 
animating everything that's left and then then it'll be done and if you want to learn more about the bright trip course i will be updating you guys rest assured of that but oh that feels so good to have that filming done ah it is the end of the day and the sun is about to go down and that is a perfect place to end it thank you for watching the video making it this far coming and hanging out with me all day and getting a pretty average look in what it is like here in cape town for me it's just wake up work out eat sleep work repeat um but honestly after the last three years of traveling the world and going to a new place every month or a couple of months and trying to find a new routine everywhere i go to be somewhere for five or six months and build up that routine has been, it's been really nice. And Cape Town's a place that I see myself spending a lot of time in the future. So to be stuck in Cape Town, I'm actually not bummed about it at all. Um, but that's where I'm gonna end it. Like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Tell him to go.